YouTube, today I'm giving you control over my destiny. It's like that Taylor Swift song, Jesus Take the Wheel, except that I am Taylor Swift and you are Jesus, which is a win-win if you think about it. I get to be America's sweetheart and you get to be Jim Caviezel. Let's start with a little background. A couple months ago, I take this girl out on a first date. I'm pulling up to her building at the end of the date to drop her off. We kiss. It's good! And then she turns to me and says, So, are you gonna call me? My friends, this question combines the two things that I fear most. Talking on the phone and commitment. I'm gonna have to put it on my calendar, my to-do list, I'm gonna have to think about it all the time. Oh, did I call yet? Did I call yet? Oh no. So I'm like, well, I, it, can I just text you instead? And she immediately starts crying. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> what is going on? I also immediately recognize this as a chance to fulfill my lifelong dream of holding a crying girl. And I gotta say, it was pretty good. So I told her goodnight and that I would think about calling her. And ultimately I decided not to call her because no relationship can stand under the weight of that kind of emotional pressure. Not the calling, mind you, the crying on a first date. But a couple months later I'm driving along in my car and I have an epiphany. Specifically I realize that I've thought about this girl three or four times every day ever since that first date. In other words, I realize that I really like her. So I decide that not only am I gonna call her, I'm gonna take her out on another date. And I'm gonna do that with the intention of hopefully getting into an actual relationship with her. So a few days later, we go out to a coffee house slash wine bar here in my neighborhood. And about 20 minutes into the conversation, she says the words that no guy ever wants to hear. I am in a relationship. So I try to play it cool, I'm like, oh, that's cool, like, uh, where did you meet and stuff. But inside I'm like, oh, why did I not realize before that I really liked you? Now the reason I'm sharing this story is because I wanted to tell her all this, but two weeks ago she moved to grad school and I never got the chance. I've been thinking about writing her a letter to tell her about how I feel and how I was kind of actually wanted to date her and I wish that I had. It's not a letter to like steal her from her boyfriend or anything because uh, the last thing that I want is a long distance relationship. Seriously, I have no, no interest in dating her now that she doesn't actually live here. But I don't know, I just think that maybe she has uh, a right to know that I actually did kind of like her. And I think it would be cathartic for me, you know, to write the letter. So those are the reasons why I think that I should write the letter. Reasons that I think that I should not write the letter include, number one, like George Costanza, I've realized that my first instincts in relationships are almost always wrong. So I generally try to do the opposite of what I actually want to do. Number two, it might be kind of awkward because I'm assuming that she's still in that relationship. Okay, so this is where it becomes your decision. If you think that I should should write the letter, click on this box right here. If you think that I should not write the letter, click on this box right here. Now, each of these boxes are going to take you to a different video. So there's going to be two videos. Whichever video has the most views is what I will do. All right, that's all for now. I look forward to getting your feedback. If you also want to just provide comments or relationship advice or just be like, Josh, you're really crazy which I already know, uh, you can put that in the comment box below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.